Welcome to GTech. Now we are going to see about nuclear fusion. What is nuclear fusion? Nuclear fusion is a process in which two or more lighter nuclei combines to form a heavier nuclei. The mass of the product nucleus is always less than the sum of the masses of the individual lighter nuclei. You can see the picture in the left side shows you about nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion you can see that deuterium and tritium is getting combined to form a compound and it is again gets divided to form a neutron and a helium. So here the process of fusion is taking place and here the process of fission is taking place. Hydrogen bomb. Hydrogen bomb is an explosive device to release a very large amount of energy by the fusion of light nuclei. The temperature required for the purpose of fusion is produced by fission reaction. This releases enormous amount of heat energy. Here you can see the equation where deuterium plus deuterium gives you helium plus energy. The picture represents the reaction given where deuterium and tritium is getting combined to form a compound. This is because of nuclear fusion. Again it's getting splitted into alpha particle and neutron. Here it is fission energy. This process of fusion is used in hydrogen bomb. Now let us see about nuclear fission and fusion. I am just taking a 40% critical uranium-238 as a target and with that 60% of uranium-235 protosate is taken where a conventional explosive charge is happening over here and it gets moved to the right end and a bombardment taken place. You could see it more clearly now so that 40% uh, of critical uranium-235 is the target one and 60% of critical uranium-235 pro projectile is shown in yellow color and a conventional explosive charge is happening over there and that caused the fusion in the right side so that bombardment has been highlighted like an explosion so uranium core uranium core can be classified into uranium 238 that constitute of 146 neutrons and 92 protons Uranium-235 constitute of 143 neutrons and 92 protons. One in 140 atoms in natural uranium is uranium-235. So now let us see about the effects of the neutron striking uranium-235. I am taking a fission fragment. So two neutron has been generated by the process of fission. So now this is the fission process that uranium-235 releases two neutron over here. So this process take place so that this process is so called a chain reaction. Now you can see that so much of fission process is happening over here from a single uranium-235 and I'm just going to make a segregation between the low pressure and the 
high pressure form of uranium so i'm just taking a feed stream with a barrier so the barrier is in the mid middle part and it segregates the lower pressure and the higher pressured uh, uh, uranium so the enriched stream is coming out in a different chamber and the depleted stream is coming out in a different chamber thus uh, the high pressure and the low pressure get segregated so i'm just uh, making out this process a uh, more visible like this so you can see that one side the input is coming that is a, a fed end is feeding the uranium 235 and uh, the top is um, for enriched uranium and the bottom place is for depleted uranium so the process goes on so the depleted stream smaller fraction of uranium 235 than in feed so it is in depleted stream where in the enriched stream larger fraction of uranium 235 than in feed is coming out as the outlet so obviously the fade is the com combination of this uh, smaller fraction and the larger fraction of uranium 235 so this process takes place more and more and it will goes like a chain reaction to get segregate this uranium 235 lighter nuclei and heavier nuclei you could see the barrier in between is getting revolved as the process of segregation so as the process of segregation you could see that this chamber process is again get into the another chamber input and this output is getting into the input of another chamber and this process cycle goes on like a continuous process so as to segregate heavier fractions from a lighter fraction of uranium 235 to get an optimal solution for the finest segregation this process takes place in real time united state gas centrifugal plant piton ohio has this setup of segregation of uranium 235 from the lighter fraction to the heavier fraction now let us see about stellar energy fusion is the process of stellar energy The temperature of the interior of the sun is about 1.4 into 107 Kelvin and the temperature of some star is of order 108 Kelvin. It has been estimated that the total energy radiated by sun is about 3.8 into 1026 joule per second. so there are two important types of cycles in which nuclear fusion takes place in sun and stars so they are proton proton cycle and carbon nitrogen cycle so the proton proton cycle has the reaction of emission of positron and neutrino and the emission of gamma rays you can see the reaction over here where the positron and the neutron get emitted with the reaction of uh, the hydrogen atom that is protonium and deuterium and same in the second one you can see the emission of gamma ray thus four proton fuse together to form an alpha particle and two positron with the release of a large amount of energy so you you can see the 
proton proton cycle over here so this is the process of nuclear fusion chain reaction so obviously the bombardment takes place so here the input elements has been taken place and it get bombarded to a compound and again it's get segregated and again it's get merging the bombardment continues and finally you are getting helium atom with proton and neutron in between you can see the gamma rays and neutrino as well as positron now let us look into the carbon nitrogen cycle of stellar energy here the emission of gamma rays emission of positron and neutrino emission of uh, some other positron and neutrino takes place so the reaction is between the carbon and the hydrogen that provides the nitrogen so again this will take up into a reverse reaction with the emission of beta rays here it is so called a positron and the neutrino so the finally the process of nuclear fusion occurs continuously so as to generate the carbon nitrogen cycle continuously This is the structural representation of carbon nitrogen cycle where the red dotted uh, atoms are called the protons and uh, black dotted circles are neutrons and white rounds are positron in between you can see the gamma rays getting emitted in the fusion reaction as well as neutrino get emitted so the cycle takes place continuously the that means the fusion reaction takes place continuously so as to form carbon and nitrogen again and again as a cycle thank you